Hi, I'm Shiv Aglani. Thanks for checking out our Raise the Line interview series in which me and my co-host, Osmosis Chief Medical Officer, Dr. Rishi Desai, explore how to strengthen our healthcare system with some amazing leaders in medicine, technology, education, and government. And they have some great advice for people starting careers in healthcare as well. I hope you'll watch these highlights and then go listen to the full podcast interview wherever you get your podcasts. Hi, I'm Shiv Aglani, and today on Raise the Line, I'm happy to be joined by Dr. Michael Gustavson, who is the president of UMass Memorial Medical Center in central Massachusetts. So can you start by telling us a bit about yourself and what led you to your interest in becoming a physician in the first place and then pediatric surgeon? So um, so I grew up in uh, West Virginia, and I uh, went to undergrad at uh, in West Virginia, WVU Medical School. And my brother, who's 13 years older than I am, um, actually became a surgeon, ended up being the only pediatric heart surgeon in West Virginia. And so, um, and it spent 40 years serving the state. So it was always an inspiration to me. And so I definitely uh, went to the medical route uh, following him. I loved pediatrics because it was really a, a chance to uh, take care of little kids, do a lot of critical care and surgery. So I thought I was going to end up as a a lifelong pediatric surgeon, but as fate turned out, I uh, ended up doing hospital administration instead. What advice would you give someone, uh, you know, starting their career as a nurse or a physician um, or wanting to work in healthcare at this point? I think for starters, I would probably give them the same advice that I, you know, I would give folks, a lot of folks that come and see me. First of all, you know, healthcare still is a, it's an amazing career and profession, right? In general, I, I encourage people to find some aspect of healthcare um, that they're really passionate about. And if they have that passion, they're going to be really successful, right? Because um, they'll be happy and happiness uh, fosters more and more commitment and, and success will follow that. I think that um, it's more important than ever that we support uh, young folks uh, going into um, healthcare. This is a really difficult time to be signing up because the you know the risks seem uh, much higher than in the past, but uh, history is um, has many 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 dozens of examples like this, right? And providers have gotten us through every time as part of the solution. Rather, that's taking care of patients, getting us through, but also participating in the clinical research and the research to find the solution and the cures. Thanks for watching this preview of Raised Line. To hear the full interview, check out all of our podcasts and subscribe to the series, please go to osmosis.org forward slash raise the line podcast or listen wherever you get your podcasts.